Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Bay Laureate Worldwide Television. Uh, the uh, feature is boxing, and we are following up a story that has been continuing to come out since the breakup of, of James Edebashir, Uncle James Edebashir, and World WBO Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Alexander Usyk. Now, since the uh, fallout, there's been various uh, stuff in the media about why each party fell out or how it happened or how it came about um, Uncle Bashir has made many references to the fact that he believes that it's the managerial side of things that's forced me who's can to make changes and get rid of him uh, as you know that Bashir and and Usyk had a very close relationship uh, up to the point of this new manager coming in and since then since day one um he didn't seem to see to see the value in james elibashir and since that point i think this is from you know last year his statements were about eager screamer saying that bashir and his training techniques were uh, maybe questionable but he didn't value them and that now when Usyk broke off from bashir the statement was that that he didn't feel Usyk didn't feel that Bashir could take him any further in his career and it's just time to move on and the breakup came over a text message which you know I think a lot of people in Ukraine in terms of the way it's all been dealt with has been quite uh, disturbed upset about the way things have, have have progressed a lot of people were under the impression that uh, the breakup was because Klimas wanted uh, Anatoly Lomachenko, the father of Vasily Lomachenko, to be the trainer of, of, of Usyk. Well, that kind of made some sense. All Ukrainian, why not? But since this story, and a story I did last night, uh, revealing that Russ Anbar has become the new trainer of Alexander Usyk and not Lomachenko, but here at this, if you go back, to uh, a previous interview I did with Uncle Bashir, he spoke about somebody wrapping their hands of Usyk, and then afterwards Usyk complained about his hands hurting him. Now this is when Bashir was still in charge, and usually Bashir wraps uh, Usyk's hands. It was revealed that Ross Anbar was the one wrapping the, the gloves, oh, the hand, the fists of Alexander Usyk. And in the picture you'll see that was in the previous video I did yesterday. There's Ross Anbar there wrapping the hands and you'll see Bashir keeping very quiet and keeping his head bowed down really uh, while all these events are going on while he's meant to be the head trainer. Almost disgusting stuff going on. But you just when you thought, well, okay, fair enough. Just when you thought things were, were uh, <laughs> it was at a standstill. Thought, oh, okay, right. Russ Ambar, now the new trainer, the cutsman who was in the corner of, of Usyk in the fight previous when he was defending his title and Bashir was in the corner as trainer. Oh, we've got another step here. I just got the news come through, through our friends in Ukraine. See for their, you know, I'm not going to reveal who said it, but I'm just going to read the, email, the, 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 the message I just got re I received about. Um... Uh, seven hours ago, I got this email. Well, that was obviously a reaction after that first video I put the video I put out last night. So thank you to those people in Ukraine that keep me up in, in updated with things. Listen to this, and you tell me what you think. Hi, Ingram. We just got a message from the U from a Ukrainian guy who who knows insider information. He says Eagles Klimas and Russ Ambar both bought out Robert Garcia's boxing academy gym and now share fifty percent of it each. He feels. Mr. Bashir was absolutely right when he said it was Clemens' idea to fire Bashir. He feels that the whole idea was to make Russ Ambar look like a top trainer. Like people will see that world champion left his trainer with, with whom he was very successful and won his world title. To work with Ambar and say, oh, he must really be really good if Usyk left Bashir for him and didn't even go to Anatoly Lomachenko. So it looks like their global intention is to attract former amateur stars from ukraine russia kazakhstan 
Azerbaijan and other post-Soviet countries to be managed by Klimas and be trained by his business partner, Russ Ambar. Klimas doesn't want to be a promoter because it means he would need to invest money in fighters. He wants other people, top rank, Duva, K2, to invest money in fighters and he would just get his, his manager's share from fighters' contracts and his business partner, Ross Anbar, would get his fighters' share respectively. No, he'd get his trainer's share respectively. Klimas basically would get his trainer's share. No, Klimas basically wants, wants a no-risk, high-reward situation for him. So yeah, money is the reason as always. The worst thing is that working with a professional cutman as a head trainer may not only destroy Usyk's career, but the career of many talented amateurs from Ukraine and other post-Soviet countries who will come to US and sign for Klimas and Anbar. So that's the story. Breaking. I mean, I can't, I cannot believe if this is actually true that Anbar and Klimas have worked, got this partnership together. I mean, we're going to have to find out more about this story, but it's absolutely shocking. So, you know, the, 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 the manager doesn't care much for his fighters. He just wants to get, get them signed and make money. And he just leaves it over to Anbar. And Alexander Usyk is caught in the middle of this. And Tony Lomachenko, who was talked about as being the, the trainer, has no part of Usyk, actually. It's Ross Ambar that's training Usyk. And Usyk has left James Ali Bashir for Anbar? It's not good. It's not good stuff at all. It really is not good stuff. Shot. Absolutely mortified. I Hi guys. Absolutely mortified. I I I don't know where to begin. Anbar, their head trainer for um Alexander Usyk. And let's remember Anbar did train Otis Grant from amateur to world champion. He did train Adonis Stevenson. He did train David Lemur. None of those fighters are with Anbar today. And Anbar is the captain for Deontay Wilder. So this is a slate on Ross Anbar, but if you're replacing a guy that's had 40 plus years experience doing a fantastic job with Usyk, I mean, the press and the media could see the footwork and the improvements under Bashir. To get rid of Bashir and get him out of the camp. And not only just Bashir, get rid of the assistant trainer as well out of the camp, who was actually a friend of Usyk. And this has happened now. So let's just to repeat the Robert Garcia Academy or the gym has been bought out by Igus Klimas and Ross Ambar, 50% each. Trainer, manager, and they're going to sign fighters. Across the Eastern Bloc, as they say. I don't know how this is going to bode. I really don't. Uh, thank you to our friends again in Ukraine. We appreciate you and we love you. And uh, we, uh, we just stay updated. Please keep us informed of how this is all going up. It's what a, what, what, what a state for Usyk to be in now. And he's got, they're now pushing this Michael Hunter fight. So... Are they going to be caring about Usyk's career? Or are they going to looking for the money? You know, when you're looking for the money, instead of looking after fighters' career, what can happen? We already have seen the short the shortcomings of of uh, Anbar when he wrapped the hands of Bashir uh, with uh, of Usyk, and Usyk complained of his hands hurting him after the fight, and that was after the Intuno fight. You know. <sighs> Uh, Sniper says Alexander Usyk should know better and trust uh, James Ali Bashir. This, this, this story, this is not going to abode well. It's not going to end well. It really isn't. If that, if this, if these stories are true, and we're going to follow this story out, we'll keep following this story. Up. If this story is true, this is not going to end well. Not going to end well at all. 
Um, so, not much more for me to report for now, apart from this breaking story. Um, for those tuning in, uh, for those tuning in, who knows if they would, you know, if they'll rush Usyk and push him up to the heavyweight division. Now, I know firsthand that if Bashir was still in charge, I don't think they'd be taking the Michael Hunter fight. You know, I don't think, I don't think Bashir will be chasing fights like that. They want to unify the title, the division, and uh, going after Michael Hunter. Why are you going after Michael Hunter? Why are you not trying to unify the division, fight other fighters? If he unifies what you want to do, dangerous fight, especially if Michael Hunter comes out with his head on. Could be a dangerous fight for Usyk, and not having the right training team around him. It's it's gonna be interesting uh late to stream what's going on with Usyk? well the story is uh for those people just joining i've just had word from our friends in ukraine that igus klimas and um ross ambar both bought 50 percent this is the story of uh the robert garcia gym or the academy and ross ambar will be the trainer of alexander Usyk, and basically it's it's to show that uh, Usyk didn't need to go to um, Bashir. They're trying to show Usyk didn't need to go to Bashir, that he's going to go to Ross Ampar, and he didn't even go to Anatoly Lomachenko. So um, my thing is maybe Anatoly Lomachenko will train um, Usyk and then just, just to cover their backs and then say Ross Ampar is, is the trainer. I think that's what's going to happen. I think that's what the deal is. It's almost that deal they had with Anthony Joshua when they said, oh, yeah, Joshua's been trained by Tony Simmons, but everybody and his dog knew that um, it was McCracken that was training Joshua. But, hey. What happened to uh, Lomacheco Senior being the new trainer? Ross Anbar is the new trainer, and he's got 50% of the Robert Garcia gym, as with uh, Igus Klimas, who is not interested in promoting uh, at all, just managing fighters. So that's it. That's the story. Uh, so I'll leave it there for now. Uh, coming up on Baylor Worldwide Television, we have an exclusive interview with Abel Sanchez, sharing his thoughts on the fight with uh, Danny Jacobs, his thoughts on Dominic Ingle and Kel Brook's thoughts on knocking the stuffing out of Gennady Golovkin, his thoughts on the rematch between, if it happens, Ward, Kovalev, and his thoughts on Joshua versus Klitschko. So, lots to come from Abel Sanchez. That's coming up next on Bayloric TV. And for those who've been asking, on Tuesday, we can confirm Peter Fury, the trainer of Tyson Fury and the father of Huey Fury, will be back on Bayloric Worldwide Television. We'll be having him on the channel and we'll be doing an interview with him so we'll be catching up there's lots to catch up on with peter fury so you know how we do it at bayloric so that's it lots of stuff coming out of bayloric worldwide and of course today is also entertainment day the official the world release of justice league on this channel so lots going on bayloric wide television and for those who like the gaming we've got a gaming uh a session coming up as well. Stay tuned. Baylor at Worldwide Television, bringing the world closer to you. Take care.